This part is now fully cleaned up. The gunk is all gone. The difference is really quite something. Hey friends, welcome back to Guitar Street. And today we're going to talk about how to maintain your guitars. Specifically, I want to talk about satin finish guitars. So, this is the baby that I'm going to talk about in this video. This is my beloved, beloved Taylor GS Mini Koa that I bought all the way back in 2015. And take a look at its condition. So, I've been keeping it in relatively good condition. The fretboard, right, as well as the body. But what I struggle with is because this is a satin finish. I've been trying my best to keep it in good condition, but as you can see over here, it has developed the, a, a layer. I think part of this is just due to humidity. I'm from Singapore, so over here, humidity is like easily 80% sometimes. So surfaces like this can get eroded fairly, fairly easily or with time. And I've had this guitar for nine years now. So I'm okay with that, but I'm not so okay with this area, for example. This is an area that I use a lot. And I think part of this is wear, but part of this is also my sweat and my gunk and my dead skin. <laughs> so I've been trying my best to maintain this to the best of my ability. And kudos to Music Nomad, you know, this is a tool that I use a lot. This is the guitar detailer that they have. So here you can see it's an all-purpose guitar detailer for matte and gloss finishes. I've tried it, but it doesn't work very well on, uh, on, on satin finishes. All it does is just to clean it, give it a clean, but it cannot really for example, this area, like this area over here. Again, I'm not trying to be picky here. I'm just trying to think of how to keep these guitars in good condition. Because if the guitars, if you take care of your guitars, they'll take care of you. And I know that my guitars have taken care of me very, very well. So if I just rub harder on this, you kind of can see the, the gunk that has come out. But I feel that sometimes it does rub off a layer. It does inevitably, you can't really see it very well. I'm so sorry. But there's a layer that's almost like, like rubber. Yeah, that's like, it's, it's kind of flaky and it's kind of disgusting, but, and I'm rubbing my eyes right now. So, but anyways, long story short, I want to test out this Taylor Satin Finish Guitar Cleaner because they've developed this specifically for satin finishes and I'm so excited to get it because it took a while for this to come to Singapore and I bought this from Sweely in Singapore. What it says here is it's a satin, it's a satin finish guitar cleaner, cleans finger oils and dirt from satin finish instruments, leaves no oils, silicone or waxy residue. Yeah, so let's open this up, give this a try. I'm, going, I'm trying this for the first time as we speak. So you'll get my first reactions. And uh, I saw some good reviews for this as well. So I'm very, very excited to try this. Satin Finish Guitar Cleaner. Okay. Gonna use uh, something like this. This is also from Music Nomad. This is just a microfiber cloth with a bit more um, friction, I would say. They said to spray this on the, on the cloth first. And I'm gonna try to tackle this part. Okay, so you guys be the judge, right? Take a look at this part over here where it's kind of blackened out. And I think part of this, as I mentioned earlier, is my sweat. Part of this is just uh, scuffs, which I'm fine. I'm fine with scuffs, but I'm not so fine with, with uh, dirt. Okay, I'm gonna try my best to, to, to do this. Okay, so sometimes when I do this, it's taking the finish off that I don't quite like. If you see here, it's taking, it's, it's dirt, yes, but sometimes I wonder if it's taking the finish off. So I'm gonna try to apply a little bit more and just give it a, a nice rub. Yeah. Not so sure. It's 
spray a bit more. I've had this guitar for nine years now. So it's been through a lot. <laughs> and I've, I've taken it basking, I've taken it for events. And it's just been through a lot at this stage. So I'm not sure how much I can get off. All right, I'm gonna give my guitar a very deep clean. And just to get rid of all the grime once and for all. Take a look at the before and after. I'm gonna take a look at this cloth. It's basically gotten all of my gunk out from the guitar. And I'm totally relying on this, not being gentle. And just trying to get rid of all the gunk, especially on the top of the guitar. Where all my sweat, years of sweat, I don't think I'm getting the finish off, but who knows? I'm not resting until this guitar is clean. To be honest, it's quite scary because the guitar gets somewhat a little bit scratched as you can see here. But it's not really a scratch here, right here. But it's not really a scratch, is it? It's more of the, the gunk and the sweat disintegrating and bowing down to the Taylor Satin Guitar Cleaner. Oh gosh, it's freaking disgusting right now. Look at this. I really hope I'm not taking out the finish. If you have any experience and you want to comment, feel free to leave your comments and let me know if I'm doing it right or if there's any better way to maintain the finish on your setting guitar. Maybe after this my guitar will sound better because I've just stripped off one layer of finish, one layer of finish on the guitar. Okay, I think I'm more or less done. I don't want to go so far as to take off the shine and the entire guitar but here you can see that the guitar this part is now fully cleaned up the gunk is all gone wow I mean quite incredible again I'm just hoping I'm not removing any finish from the guitar but the difference is really quite something. Oh wow, I'm just looking at the before and after and it's... Ugh, I don't even want to think about it. Polishing the surface has also made it more satin-like. As you can see here with the gloss, or rather the guitar detailer that I've been using so far, it has made the surfaces a little bit more glossy, coupled with the oils and everything, like this area. Polishing it makes it more satin-like. This rest, this is, this is like kind of stuck. But yeah, this is the Taylor Satin Finish Guitar Cleaner. Go and check it out in your local store. I think it's working very well for my beat up and battered Taylor Jazz Mini Coa that I love so much. I'm so glad that right now it looks a little bit cleaner. I'm hoping that this surface can be maintained like this. But uh, I'll be sure to take care of it. And right now with the satin finished guitar cleaner, I can. So thanks to Taylor Guitars for making this. This is not a sponsored review. I bought this of my own money and uh, this guitar as well. So thanks so much for, for watching Guitar Street. If you like reviews like this, feel free to check out the other gear reviews that I've made for musicians like yourself. So see you in the next video.